feel so strange Thinking about you After all the wrong you've done to me I can't go on Feeling like I do Cause my heart loves you Don't waste my time Cause someone like me you'll never find I thought we had a good thing I was wrong Hey, so I'm about to make my intro to my um, YouTube channel. So as you all know, I work in clinical research and I want to just have like a disclaimer out and you know, like at the start of all my videos to just say all opinions that I give on my channel are just going to be solely my opinions. It does not reflect my current or past employer. So I just want to um, make a video. So I'm setting everything up now. My son is about to come down and move some stuff out of the way for me, but I am eager for y'all to see my intro. So probably by the time this right here, by the time you even see this video, the intro should already be out. So we'll see. I feel so strange thinking about you after all the wrong you've done to me. I can't go on feeling like I do. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is Tuesday, the 27th of December. I am getting ready to drop my son off at his grandma's house. And then I need to, well first we need to go to the store to get some washer powder and some other stuff. But um, originally I was going to take this week off in the ass, oh, let's drop this trash out there. In the aspect of I would just log into work um, in the morning and then kind of like towards the afternoon to check my emails to make sure I don't have like any urgent emails because I'm going to be my own backup for um, this week here but what I decided to do I'm just going to don't get out yet TJ wait till I stop um I'm not going to be totally off today I'm going to work a half a day so okay go ahead I'm going to work a half day so what I'll do is I'll um totally log in from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock so that'll be better so that way at least um the sites and everybody will have access to me for four hours versus me just logging in for um 30 minutes answering emails and then that's it i just rather i just think it'll be better to do it um to do it that way all right y'all so i am back home it's 10 34 what i'm going to do now i basically wrote on my whiteboard so i'm going to book travel i'm going to complete drug death training and i'm going to check my emails so those are the three things that i need to make sure that i complete today on tuesday and then once i'm done with those three um if there's anything else that i see that's urgent for me to do that's what i'll do that and especially since um you know with the new year i don't plan on traveling until i don't go out until january the 9th that's my next visit out january the 9th so how many weeks would that be not this week not next week the next so that's perfect so that way, at least I wanted to do it that way because with traffic, with traffic one, with people traveling and delays, y'all, I don't want to be stuck at the airport. So that's why I decided to um, not travel and just have like admin days, um, work from the office this week and next week. And technically, I'm supposed to, like I told y'all earlier, I'm supposed to be off this week. But I'm just like, you know. I really don't have anything to do and honestly being off saturday sunday and monday and not touching the computer it really recharged me so even if i work eight hours today i'm totally fine with that because like i told y'all that's the biggest thing is just getting recharged and i just i feel 10 times better i can't explain to y'all like i feel 10 times 10 times better all right y'all so i just took a little break i just fixed me something to eat really quick as you can see, it is 11.49, but I just wanted to show y'all this. So I don't know if you all have a clean juice wherever you're located, but we have a clean juice here in Columbia, South Carolina, and I normally go and get a protein um, avocado toast. But I said, you know what, Tara, why am I going and spending 
and spending all this money on a protein toast when I can just make it at home. Well, I didn't say that at first. My boyfriend asked me that. And he was like, you're spending all this money on a toast that you can make at home. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's roughly 7.07. .07. Um, I started the vlog off late today, but I wanted to come on in here because I wanted to give you guys a little overview of what I did today in the home office. I went ahead and I sent all of my site contacts over to the COA. I do have on my checklist to do my expenses. I mentioned that earlier, I think yesterday in the video, but with my company, we go through Concur. And even though it's posted on Concur as like a transaction, it's a pending transaction. It's not showing up as a paid transaction. So with my company, they want us to just wait until it states it's a paid transaction so that way the correct card will be paid um, i also looked at open issues within the issues tracker just to see what type of issues are open for my site and that's one thing i love about my company it's like everything is laid out you know what issues are open you know if there's like any type of edc that has not been completed by the site so that is just perfect so before I end this vlog, I wanted to speak about a couple of things that I have been noticing um, regarding clinical research. So I always have people that come to me, not come personally to me, but they're in my um, LinkedIn inbox or they may comment on a YouTube video as far as how to get in clinical research or... Um, you know what to expect now that they have been a CRA. So I just want to come on here and say, you know, CRA is not the only role that you can thrive within clinical research. And so I just want to talk about three things that you should think about prior to being a CRA. So number one is going to be the time of travel, like the amount of travel that you have to do. So let's say for example, you are with a company that wants you to travel on, to be on site eight days out of the month. So eight days out of the month, you're like, that is perfect. That's absolutely perfect. It's generally 30 to 31 days in the month and you only want me to travel eight days. Now that sounds great, but even though if you're regional, there's some places within your region that you may not be able to drive, you have to fly out. So it's gonna be best for you to fly out the day before. So if you're flying out the day before, you need to times that by two. So that means you're going to be traveling 16 days out of the month. Now, generally we work Monday through Friday. Sometimes we do work on the week weekend as far as travel on the weekend such as next week I leave out on the 8th because I have a visit on the 9th so I'm going to be traveling that Sunday but let's take just for this example um, Monday through Friday business only so Monday through Friday we have four weeks in the month five business days so that's going to be 20 so if you are traveling 16 days you're just traveling 16 out of 20 business days okay um, number two is going to be pay so, so many people, they look up the salary for CRA and they say, oh my gosh, the CRA pay is absolutely wonderful. I want to be a CRA. But I just want to remind you, it's only a small amount of people that will start off in the six-figure range when they come in as a CRA. And those people I've noticed are really clinicians. They're going to be your RN, they're going to be your MDs, they're going to be your PharmDs. And honestly, sometimes... You guys can figure this out yourself. You can go and look up different PharmDs, MDs, RNs, and go to LinkedIn. I tell people LinkedIn is going to be your tool. Go to LinkedIn and talk to them and, you know, just get their feedback about different things because you're not often going to start off with six figures you're going to have to work your way up and you're going to have to get that experience and then you will definitely hit that six figures but if you're trying to become a cra just for six figures thinking that you're just going to boom come in and have it then just reevaluate your thought your thought process on becoming a cra number three backlog you guys it's so much backlog like it doesn't matter what company you go to there's so much backlog so much backlog you know you could be coming onto a study where the previous cra they probably didn't do ip accountability in months so you're backed up with ip accountability you may be on a study where the previous cra didn't collect any type of essential documents so you're trying to search and get so many essential documents and that can be a little bit over 
overwhelming. But you guys, with that being said and done, I just wanted to give you just three things to think about before you become a CRA. Even with all that said and done, you guys, I wouldn't change it for anything. I would not change being a CRA for anything. I love the fact that I came from entry level clinical research assistant to clinical research coordinator to now being a CRA. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love being able to educate the sites on, you know, this particular protocol. I love it. But you guys, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because tomorrow, like I said, I am not working. I have to take my dad to the doctor, but I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Talk to you soon.